Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your boy, it's Harold Elam Jr., the internet guy from Investment Group Partners. It is another Why Not Wednesday. Hey, it's Why Not Wednesday. This is the pre-market preparation trading hour. Listen, super excited about to be here today. Super excited about being here today. Hallelujah. You know when I'm excited, I'm already tongue-tied. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Guys, listen, we're in day 87, day 87 of Christian Financial Wellness, day 87 of 2024. We're in the last week uh, before Easter Sunday. Glory be unto your name, God. We're four days, three days away from Good Friday. Friday, the markets will be closed, so it's a short trading week. Yesterday was awesome. God gave us an awesome day on yesterday. He woke us up this morning to finish the work. We thank and we praise God this morning. We ask him for forgiveness, 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 forgiveness on what? Forgiveness for any inconsistencies, forgiveness for any incomplete forgiveness for any trespassing that we may have done against our neighbors, our friends, and our family. Glory be unto your name, God, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we greet you once again this morning just to say thank you. Thank you for another day's journey, Lord. Thank you for those that are watching live. Thank you for those that will be watching later. God, we ask you to dispatch a legion of angels around our lives, of those active investing members, those self-investing members, Heavenly be, uh, glory be unto your name, God, and those learn as you earn members. Cover all of us, God, in this community that you've given us and entrusted unto us. Make us better stewards on today. Make us better prayer warriors on today. Make us better neighbors and family members. And Lord, most of all, make us better servants that we may continue to serve you and win souls for Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, listen, let the smiles begin. I want you to begin to greet everybody this morning. I'm challenging you guys once again, as I do my best to do every morning, challenging you to smile at the world with expectations that the world will smile back. But even if they don't, I want you to keep smiling. I want you to have some self-encouragement, some self-motivation. I want you to be able to walk inside of a place and change the atmosphere. That's what we do. We're disruptors. We're disruptors by 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 uh, by by choice, we're disruptors um, because God g begins to elevate us and move us into positions of purpose. We're disruptors because that's who we are. Hallelujah, Amen. We're going to be going over the Word of God today. Remember, I tell you, today's word, today's word is what it is. What know your place? Day eighty-seven, Christian financial wellness. Today's word is know your place. Get in where you fit in. Now we had a spiritual gift series back in the day. Glory be unto your name. I did one of my first conferences. Glory. This was February the 18th and the 19th, 2005. Covenant Keepers Worship and Learning Center out of Rayford, North Carolina. That's one of the churches that I founded during my early apostolic journeys. Under the uh, watchful eye of Bishop Wilson, Unity Fellowship Alliance International. That's where my uh, my apostolic papers come from. Um, but we did this uh, conference. It was for two days. And God had given me um, get in where you fit in. And today, that was a good word that the Holy Spirit led me for when he said, know your place. Know your place. Hallelujah. And guys, if you've never joined us before, this is the pre-market preparation trade now. This is an hour, not before the market opens, but an hour uh an hour we spend with you before the market opens. Sometimes we start at 5.30 because the markets open up at 6.30. Today we started at 4.30. This is our normal time on Why Not Wednesday. This time allows us to give you a, a, a look into what we're going to be talking about, a look into the pre-market, the stocks that we're going to be buying, a look into as we establish and manage and maintain the framework of, of, the, of implementing the strategies that we're going to use in buying and purchasing stocks. Remember, we are the fiduciaries. We're we're investment group partners with a parent association over community investment club. If you're watching me live right now on Facebook or meta formerly known as Facebook, that means you're already part of the community inside of this investment community are 11, 11, actually 12. Now it's 12. Hallelujah. 12 different neighborhoods. 12 is the number of government, 12 different neighborhood managed group 
portfolios. Each of these portfolios, with the exception of one, are considered three C1s under the guidance of the Security Exchange Commission as it pertains to investment clubs. A three C1 that means we're excluded from the Investment Company Act and we're not an investment company, but a club that can have no more than 100, 100, 100 benefacting members. And so when you join the club, you're, you're part of an investment vehicle. We call our resources a uh, group portfolio club investing. It's our version of crowdfunding. The world calls it crowdfunding, but we call it group portfolio club investing. We pull our funds together and we invest in the marketplace. When we pull our funds together, we create a greater buying power or a greater platform where we can buy and we buy stocks. Everyday stocks, not something new, not something fantastic, not something remarkable. Everyday stocks. We teach biblically based principles through faith-based investing on how to get a return from where you're already spending your money. That's the beauty of this because God keeps everything simple. If you shop at Walmart, own stock in Walmart. If you shop at Target, own shop at, uh, own stock in Target. If you drink Pepsi Cola and you drink it every week and you buy it every week, you're investing in Pepsi. Own stock in Pepsi. This way you can get a return based on the word of God, based in Ma found in Matthew 25, 14 and beyond about the, 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 the goal or the gifts or the talents. Uh, God gave uh, three different people based on their ability, three different people, uh, an amount of money to maintain and to invest for him. And, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing the scripture, but one got five bags of gold, one got two bags of gold, one got one bag of gold, each according to their own ability. Then they went out and the master went away and he entrusted this gold with him. They entrusted him with a monetary amount. They then went and the one that had five bags of gold doubled their money. He found a way, didn't it, the, the Bible does not disclose what he did, the Bible does not disclose how he did it. It just says that he got five bags and he got five more. The next had two bags and he got two more. The one that had one bag decided not to do anything. Afraid, nervous, scared, I don't know. But he buried his talent. He buried his gold. He buried his gift. And because of that, when the master returned to settle up accounts, and that's what the scripture says in different versions, he came back to settle his accounts. The first guy came and said, hey, the five bags of gold you gave me, I got five more. The master said, good, a great job, faithful servant. Come be with me. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm make you ruler of many. The guy that had two bags of gold, he got the same response. Great, faithful servant. Uh, you were faithful over a few things. Now I'm making ruler of many. But the one that had one bag of gold, the Lord went off and called him a wicked servant. Said you could at least put my money with the banker to where I could have drawn interest. So God is looking for a return. It isn't always not a monetary return. Because remember, certain versions of the Bible, certain translations, one says gifts. That means if God gave you the gift of singing, you're not singing, you buried it. God gave you the gift of teaching and you're not teaching, you buried it. God gave you the gift of hospitality and you ain't even hospitable, you buried it. You did nothing with your gift, your talents. This is what God is telling us. Because a lot of times he entrusts us with things. He entrusts us with gifts. He entrusts us with talents. That's why there's different um, uh, descriptions or, or uh, different versions of the same scripture. Because we, we, we don't get a return on what God has given us. This is why we're being taught on how to be better stewards of God. Better stewards, better stewards of his time gave us 24 hours in a day. How many of you are tithing your time? Two hours and 40 minutes. Two hours and 40 minutes. He teaching us how to be better stewards of God's word. How many of you guys are, are tithing God's word? You're sharing God's word out there. You're encouraging somebody uh, to come to Christ. You're telling them what you know. You're telling them what you've already learned. How many of you are doing that? How many? And then how to be a better steward of God's money. My par Part of my job in the body of Christ, and we're going to get into today's lesson as I pull it up. And um, 
again, if you never joined us before, guys, in front of me, we have our main portfolios. We uh, we use full service brokerage accounts. And so when you see me looking straight ahead or, or looking up, I'm looking at the main portfolios. We have 12 neighborhood managed group portfolios. We just started a new one today. Well, it started yesterday. We got everything that we needed. It is open for trading. It's called crypto community, cryptocurrency community investment portfolio or CCIP, cryptocurrency community investment portfolio. It's going to be an all cryptocurrency portfolio, not necessarily the coins, but the businesses that trade publicly on the stock market, the ETFs and the mutual funds in the cryptocurrency space. hundred dollars to get in. It's a hundred dollars minimum uh, community membership investment uh, contribution. And then the the maximum is five thousand dollars. That's the most you can put in. So we have to limit it uh, because the risks are, remember, uh, cryptocurrency is volatile. So it even makes the stocks volatile, but the volatility of the actual companies that trade publicly in that space are a little less. But they're still driven and the momentum and the catalyst comes from the the, the price of cryptocurrency. And so right now, uh, Bitcoin is the mother of all cryptocurrency. It's trading around $70,000. So we got a new we got a new neighborhood managed group portfolio. And it's Cryptocurrency Community Investment Portfolio, or CCIP, $100 minimum member contribution, $5,000 maximum member contribution. It has one member, me. (laughs) So if you want to get started, uh, please let me know. I'm going to put the link at the bottom so you can sign up. If you're already an active investing member, all you got to do is uh, you can uh, email member services, member services, all one word, at investmentgrouppartners.com, or you can just send in your contribution and text us and let us know where you want this to go. I want to join the new CCIP, Cryptocurrency um, cryptocurrency Community Investment Portfolio. I'm going to get the name down pat. Hallelujah. But guys, listen, if you never joined us before, this is the uh, pre-market preparation trade now. An hour of time we spend with you talking about the word, the rhema word. Every day we have a rhema word. Every day we give a word that God gives to me to, to give to you. Your job is to receive the word, understand the word, and implement the word so you can have victory on today. But and uh, So every Why Not Wednesday, we do have the pre-market preparation trade now. Every day we have a theme. Uh, why not Wednesday is the thing. Why not Wednesday? Why not Wednesday? Why not smile at the world? Why not be excited? Why not be a disruptor in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Stop following the ways of the world. Today's word, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. I'm getting to today's word. Hallelujah. And I get all excited. So in front of me is our main portfolio. We get to look at the 12 neighborhood managed group portfolios that we manage as fiduciaries. We're investment group partners with a parent association over community investment club. So if you're in the neighborhood, you're already a member of the club. You're an active investing member or you're a self-investing member or you're a learn as you earn member or you're a looky loo and you're just watching. <laughs> but over here is our, uh, our social media and our, our research. This is where we do our research. At. So you see me looking here, you know, I'm looking at the active stocks that we're trading, the active stocks that we're investing in, the active stocks that we own over here. You know, we're researching, trying to find out. And we're also on social media. And then to the far left, we're getting what real time verifiable accurate information. That's the news. So we have CNBC. You can choose your platform. Some people like Bloomberg. Some people like the Wall Street Journal. Some people like Investors Daily. It's up to you. We chose CNBC. One of the greatest gifts besides Jesus Christ. God has given us is freedom of choice. I chose CNBC. Hallelujah. But right now we're going to be looking up today's word. Today's word. Hallelujah. What is today's word, guys? It is know your place. Get in where you fit in. Know your place. Get in where you fit in. And so we're going to read a couple of the scriptures and stuff and make sure everybody can see me, hear me, and understand me. Uh, we're in day 87. It's another Why Not Wednesday. Psalms 143.8. It reads, let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love. For in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go. For to you I lift up my soul. This is this is David, man, and he's asking God, let me let me hear in the morning your steadfast love. Because today's rhema word is know your place. Get in where you fit in. You've got to know your position in the body of Christ. You've got to know your gifts, your calling, your talents. There's a reason why God has placed you in a position of purpose where you are. And sometimes we're 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 not satisfied with the position. We're not pleased with the position. We're not comfortable in the position. But what 
I ask you to do is that the, the position is good, but the purpose outweighs the position. When you learn the purpose, you'll understand the position. When you learn the purpose, the position won't bother you that much. Uh, sometimes it will get on your nerves. Sometimes you'll be uncomfortable. Uh, in the, sometimes you'll be uncomfortable and unwilling, not willing to go because of the position. But the position is not as important as the purpose. And so here's David saying, let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love for in you talking to God. This is him talking to God. Make me know the way I should go for to you. I lift up my soul. You want to know God, what would you have me to do today? This is imperative because a lot of times we want to choose our ways. This is why God has given me even back in 2005, the cliche, get in where you fit in. Get in where you fit in spiritual gift series, because what God has called you to do is not what God has called me to do. You have your own goals. You have your own accomplishment. You have your own assignments. You have your own family. And God has a tendency to let you know, let me deal with you first. Let me get you in place. Because there's nothing you can do for me, thus saith the Lord. There's nothing you can do for the kingdom, thus saith the Lord, until you get yourself together. Y'all better talk to me. Come on now. So let's go on. So it goes on to say, when I wrote, when you define the term, know your place by the world standards. The term know your place is looked upon as an expression that has a negative connotation. So the world said, know your place, say where you are. So the world says the world's meaning is to accept your position in society, organization or family and not challenging the authority that has assigned you to that place. Know your place. My mom used to put us in our place. Know your, know your place. You the grown folks conversation. You ain't be no disrupted. Teacher put you know your place. Even back in the days uh, when our when our ancestors, my grandmother, my great grandmother, knew were where they had to know their place because they were segregated. And they had to go to the back of the bus, and Rosa Parks was a disruptor because she didn't want to know her place. Martin Luther King was a disruptor because he didn't accept knowing his place. And so, even though society still today tells you know your place. It's looked at as a negative connotation. The world's meaning is to accept your position in society, organization, or family, and not challenge the authority that has assigned you to that place. But God, <laughs> hallelujah, but God has chosen us to be disruptors in our positions of purpose. And when you talk about being a disruptor, it's mean that you're different. You're not following the standards or the guidelines or the rules and regulations that the world has set forth. No, 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 no. You're not doing that. You're doing what thus saith the Lord pertaining to you. But if you don't know why God called you, if you don't know why he placed you in this position of purpose, if you don't know what you're doing here, any road to get you there. Glory be unto your name, God. This is why in 2005, even on today in 2005, February 18th and 19th, God gave us get in where you fit in spiritual gift series because he opened up our eyes to who we are and what we're supposed to be doing. Glory be unto your name, God. Glory be unto your name, God. You think he just woke you up to, to, to moan? He woke you up to cry? He woke you up to, to be a pessimist? No, he woke you up to finish the work. But some of you don't know the position of your position of purpose. So you don't know the work because you know you're in, you know the position. I'm in a bad position. That's what the world does. I ain't got no need. That's what the world does. I ain't got nothing to wear. That's what the world does. When you go to the word of God, we don't do what the world does. No, 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 no. We're going to go to Matthew. You get in where you fit it, guys. You just now joining us is Harold Deal of Jordan, the internet guy from Investment Group Partners. Hey, guys, we're live, live, live. This is the prep, This is the pre-market preparation trade now. We're in day 87. We're talking about today's rainbow word. Know your place. Get in where you fit in. Know your place. Day 87. It's another Why Not Wednesday. Call your mama, call your daddy, your auntie, uncle, your sister, your brother. Call Big Mama them down south. What? Tell them it's Harold Elam Jr., the internet guy, the crazy apostle. And he's on he's on Facebook, Facebook, social media, telling everybody get in where they fit in. Matthew, we're going to go to Matthew, and I want you to start at uh, Matthew 6.25. Start at Matthew 625. And the reason why I want you to start at 625, because it will tell you that you need to get in where you fit in and don't need to be worrying. Don't follow the world connotations. Don't think like the world. Because if we think like the world, then we allow the world's end result expectations to come into our life. And whatever they do that we do, that we mimic, that we copy, whatever they do 
and get what they get from what they did, we're going to get. You're going to get exactly what they got because you're doing exactly what they're doing. Do something different. Even though I'm telling you, get in where you fit in. God has not made it place where we get. This is get in where you fit in in the kingdom based on your gifts. Get in where you fit in in the kingdom based on your calling. Get in where you fit in in the kingdom based on the talents that God has given you. What have you been called and chosen to do? Do you not know? <laughs> anyway, uh, Matthew 6, 25, NIV version. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet their heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? We are. We're made in God's image. That's a question Christ is asking you. Are you not much more valuable than they? Talk about the birds in the sky. You know that you are because God has made you in his image. Glory be unto your name, God. Hallelujah. We are made in the likeness of God. How important it is for us as humans. We got to name the birds. <laughs> so it's more important. Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? These are questions that Christ is asking you. Because when you get caught up in what the world does, you're only going to get and receive what the world got. You are so unique. Listen, um, the Bible tells us, and, and I know the scripture's in here because I found it. And uh, we're going to find that scripture. Glory be unto your name, God. Uh, First Peter 2 and 9. First Peter. And I, look, I'm right there. Look at God. Hallelujah. First Peter 2 and 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. I'm talking to you, 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 and you. You are God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into the wonderful light. Once you were not a people, you weren't even thought about. <laughs> but now you are the people of God. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. We live in a society that wants to kill us, destroy us. They don't even understand us at most times. They don't even know why they're doing what they're doing. They don't even know why they're saying what they're saying. They, they're just doing what the spirit they're under is doing. But God tells you, listen to what I'm telling you. God tells you, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Glory be unto your name. Get in where you fit in. Know your place. Know your place. Get in where you fit in. We were reading from Matthew 6.25. And we're, we're in today's uh, uh, rhema word. Today's rhema word is know your place in God. <laughs> know your place in God. Get in where you fit in. Um, we, we read, can any one of you be wor by worry and add a single hour to your life? And the reason we went here is because many of us are doing what the world does. But we're expecting a, a supernatural miracle, but we're not doing what God says do. You can't do what man do and expect to get what God got for you. You have to make a switch. You have to make a change. You have to identify yourself as being God's people. You have to do it publicly, privately. You have to do it all day, every day, without fail, no exceptions. If you're going to be saved, if you're going to live a holy life, if you're going to do what God wants you to do, you got to do it right now and you got to start right now. You got to start right now. It's going to be tough, but stay in your position. Your position of purpose is, is, is imperative to the success you're going to have in God. It's imperative to the end result expectation that God would have for you. This is why God has given us this word today. And the word today is know your place. Let me give you some more scripture. Hold on a second. Know your place. We started up here. We're going to read uh, Isaiah 30, 21, Isaiah 30, 21. It says in your ears shall hear a word behind you saying this is the way walk in it when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. This is your way. 
Walk in it. Here's the voice of God. Here's Isaiah telling you there's going to be a voice behind you as he speaks to the people of Israel. There's going to be a voice behind you. There's a voice that we know. But if you don't know that voice, you don't know Christ. The Bible says Christ said in his word, my sheep know my voice. That's because there's a relationship. And know means intimacy. It means I know my wife. That's a way of saying I, I've been with my wife. I know my wife. She knows me. Where's that intimacy with God? When he says, my sheep know my voice, it means that you know the voice that you're hearing. <laughs> if you get, if you want to do what the world does, you only want to get what the world got. Know your place in the kingdom of God. There's work we have to do on this planet until we leave here. But because we're only visiting, because we're only sojourners, you have to know your place and you have to have directions, instructions, guidance. That comes from the Holy Spirit, but you can't receive the gift of the Holy Spirit till you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. We can stop right now. We can do that. Type in the bottom of the line. You want Jesus as your Lord and Savior? You want to know why God protects us, watches over us, and keeps us? You can do it right now. You can do it right now. Glory be unto your name. You can put it in there. Listen, guys, you want to talk? You want to chat? There's a chat box at the bottom. Good morning. 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 Here's your opportunity to know more about God. My name is Dr. Harold Elam Jr. I'm the internet guy. I am also the CEO and co-founder of Investment Group Partners. We're the parent association over Community Investment Club. Where you are right now, if you're watching me live, is the community. This is a private online community set up for retail investors. We teach faith-based, faith-based biblical principles on stewardship. We want to teach you how to establish, manage, and maintain the framework of your family's financial future. Our ministry, Investment Group Partners, is a Nevada-based corporation, and we are faith-based. We're called from Proverbs 13.22. Proverbs 13.22, that's where I need you to start. A good man, an honorable man, a righteous man leaves an inheritance for their children's children and the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. You can read any version of that, any translation of that. It ends back being the same thing. There are three revealed prophecies. The first one is position. You have to be in a position of purpose. You can't get anything else till you get in a position. The second is vision. You have to see the end result expectations that God would have for you. He's going to show you the end first. That's how God does it. Then he creates the how so you can get to that end but you got to maintain and stay focused on that end even though it's raining even though you're losing people even though death may occur sickness may occur pain may occur you still got to stay focused on the end you got to stay focused on the end that's why god shows us the vision and the third uh revealed prophetic word is the assignment we're on the assignment, the three parts, the three revelations that God has given us. We're on the assignment. If you're on the assignment with me, that means you've already got out of your position of purpose. Hallelujah. If you're on the assignment with me, that means you already understand and see the vision that God has given to you. Sometimes visions will connect. This is why God tells us in Habakkuk, 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 not Habakkuk. I don't know how they got that, man. The modern day theologians got that wrong. Habakkuk is in the minor prophets. But Habakkuk, Habakkuk, H-A-B-A-K-K-U-K, Habakkuk, Habakkuk, look it up on Google, learn how to pronounce it, Habakkuk. But in the, in the, in the Bible of Habakkuk, the small or the minor prophets, it says, then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets. This is the revealed uh, prophecy in part two of Proverbs 13, 22. You've got to be able to know that God is giving you instructions. So one, position of purpose. I need to be in my position of purpose. I need to be inside of God's perfect will uh, and knowing God and knowing what to do with God. I've got to study. I've got to pray. I've got to do what thus saith the Lord pertaining to the word of God. I got to treat my neighbor right. Got to treat my friends right. Got to treat myself right. Got to treat my body right. See these little things. These are simple things to do, but you got to push yourself until these things you're doing every day, all day without fail, become a habit. Once they become a habit, they become part of you. Remember, we're habitual people. As humans, we're habitual and they become a habit.
So you push yourself to do the right thing. You push yourself to change your mind. You push yourself to pray. You push yourself to, to read the word of God. You push yourself to be nice to people. You push yourself not to respond and react in a negative connotation. You push yourself. Write down the revelation and make it plain. Part two is the vision. You have to see the end result expectation. This is why we're in Habakkuk right now. Because if, if sometimes visions will connect. So God has a vision for you. And so if you write down the vision and make it plain on tablets, so the person that reads it may run with it. So once I read your vision, I may become a runner in your vision, even though God has given me a vision. Get in where you're fitting. This is how we build the kingdom. God has already set up the process, the roadmap to our success. We just have to follow the roadmap. This is why he gave us today's frame of word. Know your place. It's not negative. Know your place. Know what you're supposed to be doing. Know who you are. Know your position or purpose. So did you write down your vision? Did you see the end result expectation? When you start in Proverbs 13, 22, you get the three revealed prophetic words, position, vision, assignment, position, vision, assignment. All that come out of Proverbs 13, 22. Then God will begin to take you through scripture and lead you down a road to your end result expectation. But write down the revelation first. When God gives you something, not man, not your wife, not your pastor, not your teacher. When God gives you something, it's a revelation. And without, without, when, when the revelation comes, preparation is provided. There is no revelation without preparation. That's why we have a position of purpose. God is preparing us right now. Those that are following us, those that have been with us for the last four years, the last three years, the last two years, the last six months are part of the preparation period. Seven years of prosperity. Seven years of preparation. Seven years of vision. Seven years of wisdom. God is preparing us, socially raising us up, financially raising us up, placing us in a position of purpose. So when the year eight arrives, we're going to have to do some work, but we're going to be financially ready and prepared to do the work. And it's a great work. God says, I go away that you may do greater works than they will do because I go to the father, greater works than what I did because I go to the father, greater works. And so he's preparing us for this greater work. And this is nothing but the lesson. You're in lesson, man. I don't know what part of the lesson you think you're in. But if you've been following us, watching us, listening to us, you're not here by happen chance. I think that's the word that Mary told me, Elder Mary George. <laughs> but you're not here by chance. You're here because God would have me to tell you, here's what I need you to do. Here's what I need you to say. Here's the words I need you to follow. This is God. This is not me. I'm just a preacher that's here to tell you what to do. I'm here to preach and tell you what to read. I'm the preacher to show you directions on how to pray and get into your word daily so that you can get to the end result expectations that God would have for you. God has something for you. And it's not me. Jeremiah 29, 11. Here's what it says. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. The Lord, he said that. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. God has something for you. Know your place. Get in where you fit in. Glory be unto your name, God. Hey, guys, listen, that written word is given every day. Every day we give a written word. That written word is designed to help you be better. That written word is designed to help you have victory on today. We can't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised. We can't worry about yesterday. It's already passed. All we got is today. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So I just need you to focus on today right now. What God would have you to do. Glory be unto your name, God. It is now 510 in the city. Guys, remember, this is the pre-market preparation trading hour. We're going to be looking at a couple of things. Yesterday, we talked about Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Yes, we did, guys. We bought stock in Donald Trump. It, the stock symbol is literally DJT. D is in David. J is in Jesus. T is in Timothy. DJT. That is Donald J. Trump. That stock is up over 50%. Yesterday it reached that. It tapped $79. It's trading right now at $65. You better get in where you fit in. It's a time for profit. Remember, read in Proverbs 13, 22. You'll better understand what God is doing with the economy. God controls all of this. Even when something you think is bad for you, where the devil meant it for your bad, God meant it for your good. It's happening for a reason. 
you will not understand the reason all the time. But if you're, but if you're in your position of purpose, when you think it's bad, when it feels bad, when it looks bad, that's when you can lean on the scripture. Romans eight twenty eight. All things, <laughs> God tell me, all things. And the Bible tells it. It starts it all. Paul says, and we know <laughs> we being the call, the saved, the sanctified, the filled with the Holy Spirit, blood washed believers, and we know that all things work together for the good. Not necessarily what you consider to be good, but for the good. And then it breaks us down into two categories for them that love God and them that are called according to his purpose. You want to be in your position of purpose. Why? Because when things start happening, you want to be connected to God so he can tell you where to go, what to do, how to respond, how to react. Because if we do it, our, if we do it out of our flesh, we're going to operate like the world. If we do what the world does, we're only going to get what the world got. Know your place. <laughs> Get in where you fit in. But yeah, we invested in Donald Trump, God. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. Yeah, the stock symbol is DJT. Y'all better let, talk to me. Yesterday, and yesterday we pulled, we, we took profit and we're back in. We took profits on DJT. We took profits on RDDT. So two different stocks, two different IPOs, seven days old for Reddit. Reddit social media app went public. Donald Trump has a social media app. It went public yesterday. One went through a standard uh, traditional IPO. IPO means an initial public offer. The other one talking about Donald J. Trump or DJT. Uh, it went public through a SPAC. A SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company. It allows for companies to go public non-traditional route so we went and we bought the stock and we bought a lot of it and yesterday when it hit a high we sold took our profits and we got back in when it took a dip it it dropped from 79 back to 57 now it's at 66.50 man y'all better talk to me this is what god is doing he's allowing the markets to hit new highs listen the other day the nasdaq tapped on this high has never been there before why this man donald trump is running for president he's been president before he's got a $400 billion loan. His company just went public and it went, it's worth $8 billion based on market cap. Let's look at the market cap value based on the current price of the stock. He only needs $400 million. He owns like 58% of the company. And get this, the company compared to other social media sites is minute. But the $8 billion, mathematically it don't add up. It's worth 8 billion dollars. Do y'all understand me? And it that has less, it has like 5 million members. 5 million. Reddit just went public. Reddit, R-D-D-T. Reddit probably got 500 million members. Y'all ain't want to talk to me. And it's worth the same thing, if not less. Listen, guys, God will do a math that the world won't understand. He'll take the simple things of the world and confound the wise. This is why I'm telling you guys, stop listening to the world. You get caught up in what the world do. You only want to get what the world got. You continue to follow their rules and regulations. Only thing God tells you to do, follow me. And when you follow God, he's going to allow you to do those things that are right, even in the eyes of the law. Because the one thing that we have to do, glory be unto your name, is obey the laws of the land. But we don't have to obey the people of the land. Y'all better talk to me. Their processes, their procedures, their situations and their circumstances, they will lead you to a way that's going to get you nothing that pertains to your calling, your end result expectation, and the things that God would have you to do. Y'all, I'm going to Colossians 2 and 8. Got to give you scripture. And we're still talking about DJ. Uh, this is our second day. Talking about Donald J. Trump. DJT. That's the stock. It's at $66.15. $66.15. Right now, guys, y'all better talk to me. Wow, this stock is just, it's going ballistic. Then RDDT, uh, what we're looking for, we're going to look for the market cap. We're going to find out how much the company's worth. Um, UPS, UPS was dropping yesterday. It was dropping because of a bad report. It was dropping. UPS is now at 144.95. Good time to get in. It is an investment. It is not a play. DJT, Donald J. Trump, the stock, it was a play. A play means that we trade. When you trade stocks, we trade them like baseball cards. We trade them like marbles. We're only in it up to three days, no more than seven days. We get out, we take the profits, then we get back in if it's still room for profit. There was still room for profit. 
our DDT, we were mixed, whether it should be a profit or whether we should hold it. We took it yet. We took profit yesterday because it reached over $70. Both stocks are expected to go to a buck 25, $125. Y'all better talk to me. $125. And then we still retain some because it did dip back. Talk about uh, DJT first. It dipped back to like 57. So we got back in at 57. One side of our Reddit account, we own it for like 42 because we got in at one point. We bought pre-market IPO stocks. And so we held on to the $42 position and we're going to wait and see what it does. If it, if once it hits the, the buck 25, I already put something in place. See, our CIO, Chief Investment Officer, Lady Ivory Hayes, she puts these sell things in place and she's teaching me the way that they trade. Remember, we have a, a coalition of people that work with us on our day to day trades. I might be the face and I'm a pretty face. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, but I'm not the only one. We have a board. We have two companies, Lion Share Corporation, uh, recently established Lion Share is our management corporation. Anything that we do outside of investment group partners, anything we do outside of community investment club, such as uh, uh, commercial real estate, outside investment opportunities, um, any brick and mortar businesses, any uh, like uh, uh, the Philadelphia project, that's an outside the market investment opportunity. Uh, Highway 301 project in North Carolina, that's an outside the market investment opportunity. Uh, Kwanzaa Harris uh, and their new beauty salon opening up in Las Vegas, now open in Las Vegas. Hallelujah. She's going to be doing the medical wigs. Uh, Lion Share will be the management company helping those out. They're going to do the day to day operations. Lead person, the CEO uh, is, is, is uh, Steve, Sam Stephen. Happens in the fourth. Uh, my 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 little brother in the ministry. Hallelujah, glory be unto your name. Very smart man of God, good in business, and he's going to be running that. He has a complete team. Uh, he has a board of directors just like I do. But we're the face. We're the face and the voice of these companies. Our job is to make certain that everything goes well, that we can answer your questions. But there's a complete staff. You need help. You better email member services. Oh, then the five days of grace. Oh, are you excited? Vegas, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, June 16th through the 24th. First, June 16th through the 21st. Y'all better be in Vegas. I'm looking to see you, 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 and you. Call your mama, call your daddy, auntie, uncle, your mama. Call your big mama, them down south. What? Tell them it's Harold Elam Jr. We're in Las Vegas. They've already confirmed. Y'all better get this Billy Graham Jr.'s grandson, of Billy Graham, the late Billy Graham, the evangelist Billy Graham, his grandson is going to be here with us. Y'all better talk to me. Going to be with us all week long. Dr. Althea Myrie. There's no wealth without health. This woman of God is awesome, man. Every time I talk to her, I stop doing something. <laughs> She's a coffee. You can't drink coffee. You know, I'm a coffee man. Cause, and then she tells, she believes everything that we need for the body, everything we need for the body. Y'all talk to me. Listen to me. It's in the earth. Oh, oh my gosh. She calls God. She calls the earth God's pharmacy. And I thank and I praise God for her. She's going to be with us all week long. Dr. Althea Myrie. Y'all better be in Vegas. We're, this is our first financial wellness conference. We're going to have a uh, look. Edward Jones is going to be there. There are keynote. There are headline sponsors. They're sponsoring the entire event. So you only have to get to Vegas. The rooms are paid for. The food is paid for. The event is paid for. Y'all better talk to us. Cryptocurrency.com. Crypto.com. It's an exchange that we use we recommend we send it out there if you allow us to send you a link crypto.com is one of our sponsors they're going to be there they're going to be teaching us about the importance of digital currency how to how to di diversify your money into crypto and the importance of it dealing with tax we got we got people that's coming out that's going to be uh what is a forensic tax specialist hsbc one of our sponsors they're going to be there talking about offshore banking private banking um edward jones going to be there with financial advisors private banking, what to do after the money. There's so much. Five days of grace. Hallelujah. I thought I'd put that little plug because I want to see you guys in Las Vegas. June 16th through the 19th. There's a registration form before we log off and put that link down there. Then I also tell you we have a new neighborhood managed group portfolio. A new, a new, a new neighborhood managed group portfolio. It is the cryptocurrency community investment portfolio. $100 is the minimum member contribution. It's going to invest in the crypto space, not necessarily 
um, the coin itself, but the companies that help generate the coins, that help maintain the coins, that the things of the support companies that trade publicly around the space. We're going to do GBTC. It's an ETF. We're going to do coin. Coin is an exchange like crypto.com. We, we like coin, but we don't, we don't, uh, we don't always recommend coin. We like crypto.com. They're our partners. They have exclusivity with us, but we can talk about coin. Coin is a publicly traded company. Myra, M-A-R-A. It's a company right here in Vegas. Marathon Digital. They're right here in Vegas, but they've been going up and down as, as Bitcoin rise, they rise. M-A-R-A. Recommended by this is the things that's going to be in this new neighborhood managed group portfolio. Uh, A-E-T-H. It is a, it is a, uh, the new, uh, Bitcoin ETF. There's one for Ethereum. There's one for Bitcoin. These are ETFs. You want to get into these, man. AETH is one. And there's another one, BETH. These are the types of companies that's going to be in the new, the all new, the all new, just now starting today. I'm the first member. I invested my $600. <laughs> uh, cryptocurrency community investment portfolio or CCIP. Uh, we've already got our EIN number. I got it on yesterday. Glory be unto your name, God. I'll post it, but we already got our EIN number. There it is. There it is. Hallelujah. Got our SS4. So we're super excited. Cryptocurrency community investment portfolio doing business as CCIP. You can get started today, 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 today. <laughs> you can you can use the same payment platforms that we've been using for any of our neighborhood managed group portfolios. We're excited because God is places at number 12, number 12, number 12, 12 being the number of government. Um so I guess that's all the news for right now. But now we're back. We're back. We're back. We're going to talk about we were looking up the, the market cap or the value of Donald Trump. DJT. We're going to look up the market cap for DJ um, T. We want to give you an opportunity for self-investing members, uh, for learners, your members. If you have your full service brokerage account, if not for this one time only <laughs> buy a little bit of this Charles Schwab people. If you own Charles Schwab, if you don't have Charles Schwab, open up a Charles Schwab account. Uh, only reason why, because you can buy fractions right now. They're the only company I know where you can buy fractions of a stock. So you can take five. $5, or if you got $25, you can buy $5 of, of Donald Trump, $5 of Reddit, RDDT, and then it's called a fraction. You don't have a full share, something like when we buy crypto. When I buy Bitcoin, I buy it in fractions because I can't afford to spend sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 for one coin, but I can buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. See what I'm talking about? You buy a fraction. So Charles Schwab is one of the only full-service brokerage accounts that offer that. Uh, other full-service brokerage accounts that we do recommend is Interactive Brokers. There, there are part there are corporate partners. Robinhood. We Robinhood just came out with a gold card, a great app. They're full service. Uh, the the the, the co-founder and the CEO was on CNBC a few minutes ago. We also invest in Hood. That the stock symbol is Hood. H O O D. The stock's moving today because they got this new gold card coming out. It's an actual credit card. We also recommend Trade Station. We also recommend E Trade. E Trade is our is our research. It, it is perfect for research. Perfect for research. Plus, Morgan Stanley, a private banker, owns E Trade. So if you open up an E Trade account, you have access now to the Morgan Stanley uh, checking and savings account. Great platform for business. E Trade, great platform for your money. So it doesn't matter which one you open up. Each of them have their own key elements of of of, of, um, of, of resources that we can use on a platform. And the reason I'm telling you, there's two reasons I tell you to open up a full service brokerage account. One is because you need a platform that we can teach you on. I want to teach you how to navigate through this, not necessarily how to trade because we don't teach you how to trade. What we do is teach you how to implement the principles of stewardship based on the Bible into your daily activities. Doesn't matter what you do. You could be trading Forex on a, on a platform I don't know nothing about. But if you implement the principles, you get the same results. You can be uh, have a brick and mortar business where you sell ham, cheese, bacon sandwiches. Doesn't matter. If you implement the, the biblical principles on stewardship, you still get to the end result expectations. You're still going to have more money now than month. When you implement God's principles into your daily activities, it makes you a better steward. That's my job in the body of Christ. I know my position of purpose. I know the work that I was called and chosen to do. I know my job. My first job is to be a servant. 
So what can I do for you today? Hallelujah. Glory be unto your name, God. I'm a servant first. My, my job is to win souls for Christ by doing what God has called me to do. If God has called you to sing, sing so you can win souls for Christ. If God has called you to preach, preach so you can win souls for Christ. If God called for you to be hospitable, be hospitable so you can win souls for Christ. You understand me? This is why today's rhema word is know your place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Know your place. Get in where you fit in. So we're going to look at the market cap of DJT right now. The market cap. I put my glasses on for this one, y'all. I need music and all that stuff. Oh, I promise this weekend, this is Easter weekend, guys. Friday, the markets are closed. If you didn't know, Friday is a bank holiday. Friday, 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 Friday is a bank holiday. Just so you guys know, the markets are closed. And so I won't be really, 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 really dealing with you until Monday. I may stop in for a brief moment. We also, we're burying one of our, our children in in the neighborhood, our community, uh, the young man we talked about last month uh, who was shot on the 29th dot of uh, February, uh, died on the 4th of March. Uh, Glory to high school student, 16 years old, uh, Devon uh, Penn, and we're going to, they're burying him on uh, Saturday, so we're going to be there. Um, just so you guys know, so if, I, if, 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 if I go dark, it's because I'm there in the community right here in Las Vegas, uh, supporting his moms uh, and his family and the community. The, uh, the kid was a football star, a track star, uh, everything that a kid could ask for as a young black man, uh, but his life is lost. And so we're going to celebrate his life. We had a balloon thing for him uh, before we went to Philadelphia, um, but we're going to be there supporting him on Saturday. So if I'm dark on Saturday and I don't answer your text, then tell the world, let everybody know, hey, they're celebrating the life of Devon Penn. Glory be unto your name, God. All right, so we're looking at the market cap right now. Okay, y'all ready for this? The market cap is $1.9 billion. Now, they said it was more, but I guess the, the stock was up more. But right now, as we speak, and this is based on E-Trade. Now, we're going to look other places, but $1.9 billion. That's the market cap. So I, I want you all to keep in mind that this Trump media, <laughs> this Trump media is is minute compared to other medias. So now we're going to look up Reddit. I just want to show you something because I think Trump media has 5 million followers. 5 million, okay? So watch this now. We're going to go to Reddit. These are the two. And then we'll then we'll go to the big boys like Pinterest and Me and, and uh, um Pinterest and um uh, uh Meta or Facebook, fully known as Facebook. So now we're going to go to Reddit. R D D T R D D T R D D T. That's the other symbol you need to be buying. Uh one is Reddit, one is uh Donald Trump. Uh, these two stocks will be paying for the rest of the week. They're going to go up. They're meme stocks. They got people driving the stocks. They're looking to hit $125 each. They tapped at 79 Donald DJT or, or Trump Media and Technology Group, it hit, hit 79 yesterday. So even if you buy a fraction of the stock, you're going to make some money. Um, so Reddit, it's at $10.4 billion. $10 Point four billion. It's been trading now for seven days. Um, the the news has um, the un what do they say uh, unverified value at six billion for DJT. But uh, what you call them has it at uh, E Trade has it at almost two billion. And this is its second day today. Where it marks the second day for uh, Donald J Trump or DJT. That's the stock symbol. Seventh day for Reddit. Uh, because uh, Reddit started trading, I believe, on March 21st. Uh, both stocks are recommended trades, recommended trades for profit only, recommended trades for profit only. Glory be unto your name, God. Hey, guys, it is 529 in the city. I don't know what time we got started, but this is the pre-market preparation trading hour. We're going to look at the top trading stocks in our portfolios. Uh, before we before we jump out of your face and I go get me some what real coffee from Starbucks, the coffee I got now, uh, my brother in law uh, bought me this Keurig system. Hope I pronounced it right. And so I tried to buy the Starbucks coffee in the little Keurig thing, but it didn't work. So I bought the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. It's a lot better, but it is nothing like Starbucks. I'm S B U X is the stock for Starbucks. All right, so we're gonna look the uh, first gonna look at the uh, the biggest changes, the biggest percentage changes. P S Q H. We're in the penny stock member portfolio. P S Q H is trading up two point three nine percent pre market. It's at five dollars and fifty eight cent. It is a penny stock. We'll be moving it today once it maintains its position. Position over six dollars. It is no longer a penny stock. Uh, oh, well, excuse me. We're not even in the penny stock. I apologize. I'll retract. <laughs> 
but we're in the ultra growth member fund portfolio, UGMF, ultra growth member fund group portfolio. So for those owners that are in that portfolio, we're looking at PSQH. We moved it because it hit 558. It actually hit 506. We own it for 506. Uh, it's trading at 558. It's up 2.39%. It's the best trading stock in the portfolio this morning. We'll post that. Uh, CCL, Carnival Cruise Lines. Carnival, they're supposed to have uh, earnings, earnings, earnings before for the bell they're up they're up two percent today we own it for 1683 straight at 1737 um, I guess earnings will be coming out shortly. Let's see if earnings has already come out. Uh, we're going to buy some more. Carnival Cruise Lines. I like Carnival. Went on my first cruise uh, with our church just before COVID. Glory, look at God. God got us on a cruise. We, were, we weren't late for the cruise. The cruise couldn't leave uh, 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 the port in Texas for some reason, so we missed the whole day. But when we got on the boat, this is what the, 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 the captain did. They said, we can't go to the islands we were going to visit, so we're going to just drive around the water. Now, listen, we for whatever reason, God didn't let let us get off the boat. So we didn't have COVID going on to the boat. We didn't have COVID, COVID coming off the boat. But as soon as this is in January of 2020, y'all hear me. So we had three days on the water. And he said, we're on a, we're on a cruise to nowhere. <laughs> Glory. And we took that as a spiritual because we're more, we're on a, a cruise with the church. It's, it's the, it's the men's conference and the women's conference. The first time they put them together, beautiful experience, had the best time, man. First time on a cruise with my wife. Glory be unto your name, God. And so it was on Carnival Cruise. So ever since that, I fell in love with Carnival Cruise. Um, and as soon as we got home, not a week later, COVID hit. People that were stopping at ports couldn't get back on their boats. People that was in the boat that couldn't get off at the port. But God made us a day late, not us, but the boat where we had to stay in Gaston. We had stayed in the hotel and we got on the boat. They said, and listen, God, when he places you in a position of purpose, you better know that it's God. He not only places in a position of purpose, but he blesses. This is what he said. The guy got on the thing and said, we're going to give you 50% back on what you spent. Then he said, well, on your next cruise, we're going to take 50% off. Hallelujah. See how God will bless you. But we knew that was all spiritual. But anyway, Carnival Cruise, that's why we, that's my story on Carnival Cruise. CCL is the symbol. Uh, we're going to check to see if earnings are supposed to come out before the bell and maybe after the bell. Let me just check and see. Uh, Carnival Corporation equity risk premium forward reached a recent high 231, a past lead. So I don't think that earnings is out yet. We're going to go. Remember, if you've never joined us before, this is Harold Dillon Jr., the internet guy from Investment Group Partners with the Parent Association over Community Investment Club. Uh, this is the pre-market preparation trade. Now we prepare you uh, before the markets open, looking at the rhema word for the day, looking at the lesson for the day, looking at the stocks for the day, the two stocks of the morning. Usually there's one stock of the morning, but there are two stocks of the morning are DJT. Donald J. Trump, which has been trading up over 50%. It's up 12% in pre-market. And the other one is RDDT, which is Reddit. Reddit is a social media site. Both are social media sites. Both went public two different ways. One's been trading now for seven days. This is the second day for Donald J. Trump. They're recommended trades for profit only. Um, we're going to look up Carnival Cruise, CCL, best trading stock of the morning for the Ultra Growth Member Fund Group portfolio. Uh, CCL is the symbol. Earnings are supposed to come out. We're going to see if they're coming out before the bell or after the bell. Right now, the stock's trading at 1735. The bid is 1734. The ask is 1735. Um, DJ stocks are moving higher. Trump media, nothing in the news yet, but earnings do come out today. So maybe it's after the bell. Good news. I could have sworn I seen it was before the bell, but CCL, CCL, let's hit a couple of more stocks real quick, guys. Second uh, best trading stock, that is the second best trading stock. The best trading stock was PSQH, PSQH, Peter, Sam, Quantify, Harold. <laughs> Hallelujah. PSQH and then CCL is the second best trading stock. Third best trading stock. General Motors, GM, General Motors. Listen, we played General Motors before. We played it when it dropped down about 30, got out when it got up to about 40. Now the stock is above 40, straight at 44, 30. We got back in at $40.79. Uh, the stock has just been running with good news. General Motors is a $50 stock. I've, I've, I've seen it go higher, but really on average and real, real talk. $50 stock. So if you get in right now at 4430, there's an opportunity for you to gain $6, but this is an investment. It ain't going to do $6 overnight. It ain't going to do Tesla 20% in a day. It's going to gradually get there. So this is a investment. Comcast, CMCSA up 0.4%. We like Comcast. Comcast again, $45 stock. 
So we use Comcast as a stabilizer inside of our portfolio. We own it for $42.59. It's trading at $42.65. Price target for the day will probably be $43. It's a stabilizer. So if you're going to own Comcast, it's an investment. GM, an investment. Comcast, an investment. Next one is uh, WBD. Warner Brothers. Don't know what I'm doing with Warner Brothers. I like Warner Brothers. I think it's a it, it's undervalued. The stock is trading at eight dollars and forty cent. We own it for eight seventy six. We're we're on the back end down a little bit. Um, the stock is moving today zero point two four percent. We'll probably buy the dip because we buy the dip at eight forty. It means we average down. So from eight seventy six to eight forty, we bring our price closer to where it's trading at. Uh, but Warner Brothers, uh, we like it over Paramount. We own both stocks right now because Paramount is still someone's trying to buy it. P-A-R-A is the symbol. Paramount owns Black Enterprise, um, uh, not Black Enterprise, uh, Black Entertainment Television and uh, owns a, a, a host of things. Paramount's huge, but they're they're broke. And I don't understand how companies operate and being broke. Um, but they're not turning a real good profits. People are trying to buy Paramount. Uh, there's several bidders out there for Paramount. I've seen as high as $18 billion people offer for the company, but Paramount, 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 P-A-R-A, and WBD and Comcast are all in that same league. Everybody wants streaming business, they want cable business, they want movie business, and they want theme park business. Well, Comcast, I don't think they have a theme park, but Warner Brothers, uh, Paramount, um, and Disney, 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 oh my God, Disney has a war. We own Disney. Listen, we uh, we got in Disney, we got out of Disney. Um, one of my sisters, uh, my dear sister, um, Maury, uh, she's in uh, Vegas. She's in. She's from Vegas. Like, well, she's from California, but she lives in Vegas here with me. But she also lives in uh, in Africa. And uh, she had told me because of the uh, the black Barbie dolls or the dolls, buy Disney, buy Disney. I said, Maury, nobody be buying no Disney. Uh, six seven three one seven seven six seven. That's my code. Always, always do two-step verification. If you are not doing two-step verification, you're going to get hacked. You're going to get hacked. You're going to have a duplicate account. Use two-step verification in anything you do. Anything you do. We own Disney. Um, Disney, we own it for 114 It's trading at 120 That's our average price. We bought it again yesterday. New, New York Community Bank Corp is trading down. Um, we may end up selling that. Uh, we, we It was a play. It was a play, and I was going to hold on to it because they just went, Nugent, Nugent, I like Nugent. Nugent's a Republican. Uh, he was the treasurer under Donald Trump. But him and his cronies or him and his boys, whatever they want to call them, they bought New York Community Bank Corp, saved it from going under. They're also talking about buying TikTok. The boys are smart. The boys he put together, the team he put together is a financial dream team. Uh, a wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. So we bought a, a position in New York uh, Community Bank Corp. We've been holding. We own it for 334. It's trading now with 326. So we're going to keep our eyes on uh, New York Community Bank Corp. NYCB. If you want to hold it, it is a is we're in a holding position. Uh, um, uh, pending further information, further investigation. The stock symbol is NYCB. N is in Nicodemus. Y is in Yahweh. C is in Christ. B is in Bartholomew. NYCB. Uh, it is a recommended buy long term. Um, pending further verifications um, but we believe the boys are going to have it so we're going to increase we'll probably buy the dip because we want to hold a good position so when these boys run with this stock because it's an eight dollar stock it's an eight or ten dollar stock so the potential the margin of profitability is there we're talking about nycb nycb but disney 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 definitely want to put that in your portfolio i don't think i'd buy it at 120 but if it dips down to 115 or less buy 115 or less. I believe Disney's a $150 stock, um, but right now they're going through some war. They got some guy trying to get on the board uh, who don't like the president of Disney, and the president of Disney don't like him. And some they they one had a win, a win last week, and then the guy that's trying to get on the uh, get on the board, he had a win today. So we're watching Disney. D I S. We own Disney. We got a good position in Disney, um, but we right now we're still uncertain because we're still gathering information. Remember, we don't trade stocks anymore. We don't invest money in. Anymore. The new that is the new goal. That is the new goal. Information highway. If you need real time, verifiable, accurate information, this is why God tells us in all of your getting, getting understanding. Then He tells us to study to show yourself approved unto God, a worker that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Data. God has been telling us, learn the word, word, learn the information, learn what you're doing. That's the data. Too many times we've got caught up in what the world is 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 telling us. You don't have to read anymore. Just watch. You don't have to read anymore. Just listen. 
You don't have to read anymore. No, read to understand. God said in all of your getting. That's wisdom. Get wisdom. And if you get wisdom, get an understanding. Hey, guys, my name is Harold Dillon, Jr. This has been the pre-market preparation trading hour. I love each and every one of you guys. Listen, we're super excited. Two, two stocks we want you to look at today. Keep your eyes and stuff focused in this short week. Those two stocks are DJT. Those are the initials of our previous president, Donald J. Trump. It is a stock. It is a social media website. The other one is RDDT. However you're going to get it, buy you a little something, something. Listen, for the first time, first time, first time ever, if you got cash up, go ahead and buy RDDT or buy Donald J. Trump. Buy a little bit of it. Watch how it does because you'll make a little bit of money. Maybe make some gas money. You might make some grocery money. You know, God the other day told me, he said he bought five shares and he bought it at the $47. Well, he sold it yesterday at the $79. You look at 80 times five, what is that, $450? Eight times five, four, he made 400 bucks. Come on now, guys. You know, just a little something, something. That's what the market does. And the beauty of the stock market is it gives you an opportunity to invest in the economy. And just as quickly as you get in, you can get out. We keep everything simple. It's the KISS rule. Hey, guys, my name is Harold Elam Jr., the Internet Guy. Good morning.